Yo, what up, guys? B5D here. This is day 100 of the Noob to Pro series. This deserves a round of applause. This series has been going on for exactly 100 days, and we are trying to push to Ultra Nightmare with a killable team. That's the whole purpose why we started this new free to play account, and we're heading towards that goal. For now, Maranis Fusion is side tracking us like everybody knows, and we are trying to get that legendary champion why doing things we we'll normally be doing in the game day 101 right there promises 100 gems this is exciting because on the account since the mana next vision started we've been complaining about we might not have enough energy or gems to complete it because we started this vision with about 500 gems when we started preparing now the fusion has come we are currently doing it and we are still climbing the amount of gems we have to 1680 right now from other sources all free to play so having 100 add to that number will push us closer to the 2000 mark a fusion is going on and instead of our gem number to be coming down our gem number is going up it's quite exciting and surprising for me i don't know how i'm doing it mostly because we are getting resources from everywhere events and tournaments the um, promo code that they gave the clan quest twice two weeks in a row gave energy so i also was able to manage to buy energy from the um 3v3 arena also not faction wars now 3v3 arena also dropped energy right there 300 that i bought with my um, bazaar and currently don't have enough right now to buy two more days before i can have more to buy again so still buying direct star fragment so there are many sources that we've used we've been using to get energy including yesterday i saw that challenges opened and i was able to head over here and complete a lot of these challenges and collect the epic books that was also available right there so all the energy that we've been spending has gotten us all the and champions needed so far the rare champions needed so far for this fusion and if i head over to the right there and count how many i have right there that's how many one two three four five six seven eight so we have eight and we currently have the champion um champion training to do currently do have the um fire knights to do and we currently have dungeon divers to do those are the three that we've not currently collected that will push up up to 9 10 11 12 right so um champion which no 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 not champion training the classic arena tournament will start tomorrow that one is easy for us to complete so i just wanted to show you where we are in the fusion and where we are how we are progressing now for the fire knight i should have completed it by now but i found it all night and it seems like the wave the current level I, I, I am is kind of restricting me dungeon divers is also something that is restricting because we do need to farm that dungeon divers fast before the timer expires i was not able to complete it because we are finding farming fire knight at a lower level not level 20. so i'll be able to do it tonight though and leave it all night by morning it should be complete so i try to um, figure that one out before i started recording this video but it wasn't just possible i'm currently farming it at level 16 and this um paragon wave in the first one is kind of kicking my ass because i do have an amiga right there and if a paragon pulls his um unkillable on himself amiga will just keep making that unkillable not to run off so i finally had to head over to my presets and make amiga not prioritize his a1 for that wave one at least so he's prioritizing his a2 for that wave one so that paragon can finally take his turn maybe sometimes it happens that my kill can nuke them without even paragon doing anything nuke the first wave nuke the second wave but sometimes it happens that paragon doesn't get hits and then he puts on killable so i came back and i saw the run still going for like 25 minutes just one paragon it almost <laughs> made me uh, rage quit but i tried level 17 i tried to push 17 try to push but that was too difficult i couldn't even make it to the boss stage in this level 17 i had to go in there with um a revive champion before i could do it and it was almost manual so that's why we're not pushing further than that in the um, fire night now for the next piece of content that you guys are expecting to see some results for my dungeon content as also for my cl um, clan boss content because i did show you new builds that we did yesterday during artifact enhancement and i was boasting how this new build will take us to the next level right it's time for us to confirm if it's true if i head over to my nightmare clan boss hit for today you can see me doing a two key 34 million that's a record for nightmare that means we can constant we can uh, confirm that nightmare is now three key confirmed three key confirmed that's it so even if it's a negative affinity i might still be able to do three key or four key by then depends if i can do 
12 or 10 if it's a negative affinity but right now on void we're able to do 34 million on that um two key right there one was 14 million and one was 15 million also no 17 no one was 17 also I, I forgot the numbers but it was it was one was a lot higher than the other you with this team you're seeing right there we are glad that we managed to book steel call fully book steel call which made that poison or that a1 the poison bar was full um when i, I already spent my keys i would have loved to do a run for you guys to see how it battle goes but the two hours is the next key that is available so nightmare confirmed with this killable team three key is awesome now i can decide to throw away one of my key in either ultra nightmare or brutal speaking of brutal i also did spend my one key yesterday in brutal and i was gonna save it for this video to show you what we did in brutal yesterday so it's true the rumors are true if you can one key brutal you can three key nightmare so i did take the screenshot of that brutal damage right there and i wanted to show show it off 22 million on one key in brutal so that's confirmed that means we are confirmed to be a nightmare um team right now so what about ultra nightmare i'm not that confident in in our abilities i know that we can of course do the first not on one key though we can do the first mit, 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 mythical chest yes on 23 million we can do it with two key maybe and um, but i'm not quite sure about these higher levels because we need to spend one key elsewhere three key nightmare one key elsewhere i feel like the best place to put that one key will be to help our clan take down ultra nightmare but we are not there yet so maybe we'll still be putting our one key to brutal so we don't just waste it or we can keep it to the next day so we can put two keys into maybe ultra nightmare so that's the latest progress for the new gear that we finally got in the account how it was able to move us to the next milestone which is nightmare it's a big deal because remember this whole series is all about using a normal team to beat the clan boss if the affinity does change i will definitely bring in deliana because she is the champion we did build to place that block um buff debuff on the boss because right now it's a void we, we don't have the increased attack on the boss that's why i did not add deliana to this team but if the affinity changes i have two first champions that might slot in no deliana is the only one that is left that can slot in in place of a magic champion especially if it's um, a negative affinity against us all right i did manage to try to put one key into hydra but i already spent all my keys last weekend before the reset happened so because of advanced quest so i couldn't really put keys into um hydra so we've not been talking about hydra in this series it's for a reason we want to really focus on that clan boss but the clan boss team can also do hydra so i'll use key this week and see what we can do with hydra and see if we can at least start getting that first chest from the hydra that's something that is coming up soon cvc is ending soon if you've not spent your resources go ahead and do so our clan is winning this one hands down they might come from behind though but it's not looking like it's gonna happen for them and we are claiming all those rewards the new to pro was good this time by spending a lot of resources and um, leveling up a lot of stuff to get us a lot of points right there too normally we are half on that point so we normally do 30k or so but this time we went ham and we really pushed to the extreme i don't know why the void is i mean the um, portal is purple i guess it's a 10x but that's not one that is um, important right now. We're not even considering that. All we are looking forward is saving our shots towards the upcoming 2X Ancient that is coming up this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So save your Ancient shots for that. I'm glad that our Mystery shots is coming up to this level because we've not been spending it. So we are keeping Mystery shots for that purpose also for the champion chase in the Maranix Fusion that is currently going on right there. Champion chase. That's what we're saving for. So... Um, I just wanted to record this short one to show you the progress and I promised to show you the clambos damage which is that and I also promised to show you the dragon damage to see if we can push dragon 24 to 25 but the truth is since fire knight is currently going on I will not completed fire knight there is no it doesn't make sense for me to spend energy right now pushing dragon 21 22 23 24 just to see if we can do it i feel like the best place for me to spend all my energy is towards fire knight right now that's why i'm not going to be showing you any um of the dragon um push that we are doing yet no we are not pushing 21 22 23 yet i know we can do it you've seen the damage that that team did to the clan boss on nightmare that same team can come in here and do the same thing 
right here i might just need to bring in maybe a reviver or i don't know if uh, dead knight can keep us alive with apothecary if i don't need a um, director drought depends on the affinity though so i'll be pushing this one once i'm done with fire knight or once i have some free energy that i'm not using to push any other events i will spend it here and try to see if we can push towards dragon 24 because we need this better sister gear the current sister gear we have are all coming from dragon 20 but if you want better ones in terms of epics and legendary 24 will be the goal where we are going to be pushing towards because of our champions are magic affinity so 24 is something i'm looking forward to pushing so i'm glad that they were able to push nightmare that means they will be better everywhere else that's all the update i have but one more i was able to push doom tower also because i've been ignoring it all this time yes the last boss we stopped was this one but due to this new build that we have on this account yes the build did not just only help us for the nightmare you can see it translating everywhere in the game as progress so we're able to now take down this boss without a cleanse yes he did place his poison on us but we just kept using um ultimate dead knight to place that shield and that heal um for on us while apothecary heals and then i use the cleanse of this um steel skull i use it on kale because kale can nook all the spiderlings in one hit right but i didn't want him to take so much poison so much poison damage so i always use the cleanse on him why death knight keeps everybody else alive with shield so that's how i was able to take down this boss it was a long run check out eight minutes on manual <laughs> but i was able to get it done right now i'm pushing all these other stages and i'll be able to claim this energy right here and use it to push fire knight even further all right i don't know if we can get this epic skill tome though we will see the results tomorrow if this um i don't know which the next boss though let's see after the spider who else is coming up it's this carab again i don't think we can do it no we can't do this carab on this higher level i don't think we can do it it was quite easier on the lower level but over here i actually need shield and um enemy decrease enemy max hp champions i do have amiga boy he's not built in destroy sets so that's why i don't think but we'll see the results to we'll see if it's possible tomorrow all right that's this short update for the new to pro that i wanted to share nothing else is going on i'm currently recording a champion spotlight for another um, video that i want to post tomorrow morning so that's why i'm keeping this one short so i can just get the two videos together done tonight so you see it early tomorrow morning posted as a champion spotlight for a new champion that is not been talked about for a while you guys let me know how your progress for marionics fusion is going no to pro is not doing anything much besides that um yeah i'm still waiting for let's see for missions what am i waiting for to ascend a, ch a champion a first champion to six star <laughs> i'm still waiting for that before i can push forward on these missions and finally get a bit time or fi finally beat every content at level 20 that's why i'm not pushing for it all right i'll keep this one short there is a new thing coming up tomorrow i, I forget whether i'll do it tomorrow or next but i have so much um what do you call it mortal soul stone saved on my main account i'm talking about 100 soul stones saved up yes i do have 100 soul stone i've just keeping it hush hush and waiting when i've gathered all of them to actually do a soul stone shard pool video for you guys so maybe i'll put that one in the video tomorrow and share on the channel before we do ancients 2x i'll see you guys tomorrow for whatever we decide to post either the um, champion spotlight or the soul stone and summoning good night guys